you can find the PIMCore static routes here in the settings section and going to static routes. The main use for static routes is to create routes within PIMCore, which can be used to show some kind of content on a particular URL. They're mostly used instead of Symfony routes. A static route can call a particular controller action or method that you wrote yourself within the code. They are particularly useful when a document within PIMCore will not suffice for your needed functionality. So let's create a static route. Let's call it test. And now for the pattern. The pattern is a regex pattern. So if you're familiar with regex, this will be easy, easy for you. But here when we're going to use a very simple pattern, let's say, for example, we have this test page and then within it, we have this content that we're showing to show this content. We're using uh, the default controller uh, test action. So let's say that we wanted this to be showing on the en slash testing route. This will show us an error because the page currently or the URL currently doesn't exist. So let's create it for the pattern. We're going to write first slash slash to open and close the regex. And now for uh, the pattern, if we want to get this pattern, with regex, we would need to type in backslash slash en and then backslash slash testing. The reverse would be slash en slash testing. And the controller that we want to use is the same one for the test page, which is under default controller and test action. Uh, this will give us the same results as for the test page. We have no variables, defaults, uh, nothing. We can just set the priority to one. And you can also set the needed methods. By default, the method is get. And if you want to define other methods, you can do that here. As I said, uh, this is just an alternative for you creating uh, routes directly within PIMCore and referencing them to certain methods uh, inside of your controllers in your code. So let's test this out. Now we had this route open EN testing and it was working. If we refresh it, now we can see that we have our data loaded, same as for the test page. Hope the video helped you. And if you want to learn more about PIMCore, you can check out my Udemy course called Learning PIMCore from Zero to Hero, where I will show you all of the steps from creating a project, buying and setting up a server, as well as deploying your project. Hope to see you there.